just your work and bless us through your work in the name of Jesus. For we pray in Jesus' name. Let the sister say to somebody, he says, You are blessed this morning. Hallelujah. We give all praise unto the Almighty God for giving us this opportunity to stand before Him and to share the Word of God again this Sunday. Uh, as we go to the Word of God, help us to be attentive and don't be distracted by anything around you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God made the message God used to visit people. Very people happen when we listen to the word of God. God will relieve us of our body. God will bless us through His word. He will heal us through His word. Hallelujah. Because the word of God is powerful. So let us be attentive and follow us as we go. Praise the Lord. Speak on this topic. Keeping hope alive. Keeping hope alive. Hallelujah. Hope is a feeling of expectation and a desire for a specific thing to happen to us. Hallelujah. Hope is keeping expectation and uh, looking up for something to happen, for our request to be granted. Hallelujah. That is what we call hope. In the midst of challenges, it is very difficult to keep hope alive. In a time of hard time, when we are passing through hard time, it is always very difficult to keep hope alive. And when we see something around us that are going smoothly for some people, and then we are expressing failure in our own part, it's very difficult to keep hope. When we have people giving back, and somebody is barren, it's always very difficult to keep hope, praise the Lord. When some people are throwing parties, and food are wasting such parties, and somebody will not feed if you one time in a day, it's always difficult to keep hope alive. When we are sick and we see people die of such sickness, it's always difficult. We always think that that is always at the corner because the same sickness that kills somebody is what that person is having now. And with that, we expect death. Amen. But God wants us to have hope. He wants us to keep our hope alive. Hallelujah. He wants us to keep our hope alive. Just like Abraham, Abraham was promised that he will be the father of the nation. And he yet to have a baby, yet to have a son. How would that promise be fulfilled? Hallelujah. How would that promise be fulfilled in his life? But he kept up hoping, even as 800 years. Biologically, he could not produce any child again. Even the wife has become very bold. But Abraham kept hope alive. Hallelujah. In the book of Rome, Romans chapter 4, verse 18. The Bible says, Abraham hoped that he would be a father of a nation as God has promised. Then against all hope, Abraham in hope believed and so became the father of many nations, just as has been said to him. The hope of Abraham was very strong that it is God that made his promise and the promise must be fulfilled. He kept that hope. 
many promises, we have had many promises in our life. We must be hopeful that one day it will be soon. We are dreaming, we have some dream. Our said, we have our expectation. Don't let us lose hope. Praise the Lord. It is easy to lose hope on our aspiration if we are not careful. Hallelujah. Why do people lose hope today? Number one, lack of faith in God. When we lack faith in God, we are not going to be hopeful. You don't have faith in God, you won't believe His promise. You won't believe in your own truth. Hallelujah. Because faith is what you are expecting. That has not happened. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you lack faith, you will lack hope. If you lack, you will lack faith. Hallelujah. If you don't have faith, you won't have hope. If you don't have hope, you won't have faith. Hallelujah. So we must keep our hope, faith in God. Our faith must not deter in God. We must be faithful in whatever God has promised us. We must be faithful in our request from God. That is the way, that is where we can achieve whatever God wants us to achieve. If we lose faith, we won't have hope and we will not get to our destination in life. Number two, lack of spiritual strength. We are very weak spiritually. And when we look weak spiritually, we will lose hope. Just like Israelite, they were journeying to the promised land. They were journeying to the promised land and, the, and Moses sent spies to the land of Canaan to go outside it. Ten of them came with negative information which made the whole conversion to be crying and want to go back to Egypt. We were looking for cattle that will lead them back to Egypt because they were not strong spiritually. They were weak and they lost hope in the wilderness and wanted to go back to where they came from. Hallelujah. If you, if you are weak spiritually, you will lose hope. And it's always dangerous to lose hope because it has a negative consequence when you are not hopeful. That has a negative answer. Let us mention ourselves spiritually. When you are strong spiritually, your hope will be alive. If you are weak, you will lose hope. Praise the Lord. Number three, why we lose hope is down because of our downward, downward thinking. Downward thinking or hardly thinking. We think in flesh. We do this in flesh. Hallelujah. We are not looking up to God. We are looking to our surroundings. We are looking to men. Men will disappoint us. When you begin to believe in men, they will disappoint you. The psalmist said, I will look unto the God, unto, unto the above. We are covered by him. Hallelujah. Let us be looking at the ball. Let us be looking at God. Don't let us look at man. Because man will disappoint us. Amen. You will lose hope when man disappoints you. Hallelujah. So let us keep looking upward. Let us look unto our God for his promise. His promise will come to fulfillment. God will never say a word without fulfillment. We send this word and this word we come. We do whatever we say that we do in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number four is lack of courage. When we do have courage, God told Joshua, just be courageous. Be strong and be courageous. Because you are the one that is going to defy the land among the Israelites. Hallelujah. Joshua was afraid after the death of Moses. He didn't have courage. He didn't believe that he would let 
lead the Israelites to the promised land. He lost faith, he lost hope, but God strengthened him. They will be strong and be courageous because they are the one that are going to lead Israelites to the promised land. And they are the one that are going to divide the land among them. Hallelujah. Let us be courageous. Let us strengthen ourselves. Let us strengthen ourselves. Let us, don't, don't, don't let us lose hope. Praise the Lord. Don't lose hope. Continue to struggle. Continue to, to lay your heart on that task. One day we will achieve. Hallelujah. Amen. Number five is prayerlessness. When we are very weak in prayer, if we are not prayerful, we will lose hope. Praise the Lord. We lose hope. When we are praying, when you are praying, you want to have hope, you want to have faith in whatever you want to achieve. But once you put your hope onto prayer, once you don't pray again, the hope will begin to go down and you will not be able to go ahead, not to be, uh, to be hopeful again. Hallelujah. We have many dreams that are yet to be fulfilled. They will, they will come to fulfillment when you don't give up. When you keep on, keep, 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 keep on uh, fire, keep on depending on God, keep on praying, keep on walking, and we achieve it one day. Somebody said the roads were ahead for 14 times. For somebody to do an exam for 14 times, he should have given up. At the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time, he should have given up. But he said he wrote it for 14 times. That is 14 years. Hallelujah. For doing an examination. And that person today has gotten PhD. Hallelujah. Somebody that wrote an exam, that person gave the testimony in this church. Hallelujah. That person has now gotten PhD. If he has abandoned that exam, he will not move forward today. So we will not move forward today. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So what we are abandoning, let us go and start again. Let us refresh our mind. Let us move forward. If you don't hope, you won't succeed. If you don't hope, you won't get to the top. If you don't hope, you can't be somebody in life. Many businesses have failed before, but they did not abandon it. They continued to be hopeful, and they became somebody in life. Hallelujah. Anna was barren. She was barren, but she had hope that one day it will be a blessed God. Hallelujah. We kept on going to Shiloh. Every year he kept on going. He didn't abandon Shiloh. One day he met God and God answered her prayer. God answered her request and he became a mother. Praise the Lord. He become a mother in the name of Jesus. I say he become a mother in the name of Jesus. You will achieve your destiny in life in the name of Jesus. You will make it in the name of Jesus. You will not go to be a failure in life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. How can we keep our hope alive? How, what can help us to keep our hope alive? Praise the Lord. Number one, we must hold on to the scripture. We must hold on to the scripture. Hallelujah. Whatever the scripture, the Bible says, you should hold on to it because it will come to pass. Hallelujah. It will come to pass. The Bible says there is hope for a tree that is cut down. The Bible says there is a hope for a tree that is cut down. In the book of Job, chapter 14, Job chapter 14, verse 7, Job 14, verse 7, he said, For there is hope of a tree, if it be cut down, that it will 
sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease, though the root therefore wax old in the heart, and the stalk thereof die in the ground. Yet, through the state of water, it will bud and bring forth a new bud like a plant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I would say there is hope for a tree that is cut down because when there is water, it will grow back again. Let us believe the Bible that God Almighty that promise will fulfill the promise in our life. Sammy said, if I several times, I will rise again. If I fall time, I will rise up again. Hallelujah. When we fall, let us rise up again. Let us keep going. Let us despair. Let us keep going. Let us keep. If you stand, let us keep walking. If you are running, keep running. If you are flying, keep flying. Hallelujah. If you cannot run, praise the Lord. If you cannot stand, crawl. Hallelujah. If you cannot walk, you can run. If you can run, hallelujah. hallelujah. Let us make sure that we are not down. That is the will of any of us. Look, to lose courage, to lose hope, then we'll be happy with us. And then we'll be grand at the spot. Hallelujah. Children of God, don't give up. Children of God, keep walking, keep moving forward. God told Israelites at a particular point, he said, you have well, well enough on this mountain. He said, move forward. Hallelujah. Move forward. We shall move forward in the name of Jesus. I say we shall move forward in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So let us depend on the scripture, what the scripture has written for us. Let's believe it. Hallelujah. And also, number two, let us believe in God's promises. Let us believe in the promise of God. God has promised us so many things. Hallelujah. In the book of Psalm, Chapter 38, verse 18. Psalm 38, verse 18. Hallelujah. I will say for. He said, uh, For I will declare my iniquity, I will be sorry for my sin. But my enemies are lively, and they are strong, and they that hate me roughly are multiplied. They also they render evil for good and my adversary, because I follow the thing that good is. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, but not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. This is an they had a lot of enemies, a lot of adversaries, but he kept hope in the Lord and he could pray that God should not forsake him, that God should not be far from him, that God should make haste to help him. That should be our, uh, our action in the time of trouble, in the time when enemies are against us, when enemies are against us, when they are fighting against us, we must be hopeful, we must be prayerful in the Lord. I must request the help of the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 147. Psalm 147, verse 11. Psalm 147, verse 11. It says, The Lord take care pleasure in them that fear him, in those that hope in his mercy. The Lord take care pleasure in them that fear him, in those that hope in his mercy. Hallelujah. 
Those people that have hope in His mercy, the Lord always come to our to help them, to lift them, and to make them to be progressive. Let us abide in the promise of God. Let's accept the promise of God for our life. The promise of God never fail. Hallelujah. Never fail. Amen. Number three, trust the Lord. We must trust the Lord in all our dreams. Amen. We must trust the Lord that God is for us. Amen. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 9, First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 10. Paul said, He eats all together for our sake. For our sake, no doubt. This is written that he that plow shall plow in, and, he, and that that trench in hope shall be taken of his hope. I read again. Or send he together for our sake, for our sake, no doubt that is written that he that plowed should plow in hope, and they that trust in hope shall be partaker of his hope. Praise the Lord. Amen. We have to trust God that when we do this hope, it's going to end in praise. Just like a farmer that is clearing his feet, making ridges, and planting seeds, and taking care of that seed. Hallelujah. At the end of the day, he will reap his uh, harvest. The harvest will be plenteous. But if the farmer, farmers do not have hope of what they are planting, they plant and then they abandon the seed, abandon the plant, they will not be able to get anything from that uh, intervention. Hallelujah. But they will plant and they will take care of that particular plan and they will reap the harvest at the end of the day, maybe at the end of three months, at the end of one year, at the end of two years, the harvest will duly come. Our harvest will come to us in the name of Jesus. I say our harvest will come to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. In the book of Psalm, Psalm, Book of Psalm 1. That's uh, the promise of God that was recorded. Psalm 1. Said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the godly, nor stand in the way of sinner, nor sit in the seat of scorn, but he delight in the law of the Lord. And his Lord dwell by day, day and night. I shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth its fruit in the season. The leaf also shall not wither, and whatever it dwell shall prosper. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Whatever we do in the Lord shall prosper in the name of Jesus. I say, what better we do if the Lord shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Number four, we should confess hope. We should confess hope. Amen. In the book of Hebrew chapter 10, Hebrew chapter 10, verse 23, Hebrew 10, chapter, uh, chapter 10, verse 23. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without we refrain. For he is faithful that promise. He is faithful that promise. Let us hold on to our faith. So let us have faith, let us have hope in the Lord. God has promised us we surely make it soon at the end of the day. 
It may not be one year, it may not be two years, it may not be three years, but surely in, in the promise of God we come alive to our expectation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whoever that is still living does not lose hope. We have so many examples of people that kept hope in the Lord. Anna was number one that kept hope alive. Amen. And the hope was fulfilled. The Israelite for 40 years, the hope came to fulfillment. And they got to Canaan land after 40 years of wandering in the wilderness. And they came to their promised land. You will get your promised land in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. I seek God to real good, the land of plenty, the land of fulfillment, the land that is filled with make and hold after a lot of a lot of war, a lot of tribulation, a lot of annihilation, a lot of oppression. He, he got to that promise and real good. Praise the Lord. And was rest in that place. Joseph was hopeful that his dream will be fulfilled one day. Hallelujah. Even though they, 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 they plotted against him, they wanted to kill him, but they could not kill him. They sold him, he was in prison. But at the end of the day, he became a prime minister in the promised land. You will be great in the name of Jesus. Don't go, don't give up. Whatever your aspiration, whatever your dream, it will come to fulfillment one day. Hallelujah. Just keep on walking. Don't let devil disappoint you. Don't let devil deceive you. Don't be deceived by the devil that you cannot make it. The consequence of losing hope is enormous. It's devastating. When you lose hope, you lose your future. You lose your miracle. Hallelujah. And you lose your aspiration. And you will not be fulfilled when you lose hope. You, you, you will be granted at the spot. Hallelujah. You will be granted at the spot. There are so many Israelites that may not leave Egypt when they declare freedom for the, for the Israelites. When Moses came to take them to the promised land, we will have some Israelites that will not believe in such journey, in such venture, and they will remain in Egypt. And they became slaves perpetually. Hallelujah. There are many Israelites that they did not believe God. They died in the wilderness. They didn't get to the promised land. They died in the land because they lost hope. Hallelujah. When you do so, you lose your future. Some people lose hope and they look for shortcuts. That's another consequence. They look for shortcuts. Hallelujah. And shortcut is always dangerous. Cannot take you to do ritual. The consequence of this, when we devastate it, it always costs them their lives. There are many men of God that are now waiting. God. We are now waiting on God for the increase of the church. They want members. They want thousands of members. They want millions of members. They will not wait for the Lord to do it. They will go on short course. And it's always devastating. Jesus Christ told his disciples that they should not rush to go and preach, but they should wait at the upper room that they will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon them. And they waited on the Pentecost day, they received the Holy Spirit. How many men of God can wait today for the power of God to manifest in their life? All what we are looking for is money, is faith, is power. And the, the devil will give them power. They will receive power from the devil. And they will be using this to, 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 to disguise and the power of God. Praise the Lord. Use it to deceive people. Praise the Lord. 
They do miracle that will not last. Hallelujah. The consequence is always very bad. Some will steal their place of war, but they won't have money. Hallelujah. Let us thank the Lord. Let all the things that we receive come from God Almighty, the creator of the heaven and the heart. Let us receive from God directly. Let us receive our blessing directly from God. Let us receive our promotion directly from God Almighty. Don't let us receive anything from the devil. The devil will pay back with our life when you see the thing from the devil. Praise the Lord. Let's hope in the Lord. And our hope shall not be in vain in the name of Jesus. Let us rise up on our feet and let us pray. Lord, strengthen me. Let me be hope, hopeful. Don't let me lose hope in my life. Let us begin to pray. Let's pray, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. That God should keep our hope alive. That we shall not be discouraged. We shall not lose heart. We shall not lose hope. Let's pray, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. God, grant me hope. Grant me faith. That make me to stand on you. That make me to stand on your promise. In the name of Jesus. I refuse to lose hope. I refuse to lose hope in the name of Jesus because I know that I will get to my destination. I will fulfill destiny in the name of Jesus. Your promise shall be fulfilled in my life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For we pray in Jesus' name. Heavenly Lord, we thank you this morning. We have sought your name, Father, and said our praise in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that this morning our hope will not be lost in the name of Jesus. You will strengthen us in hope in the name of Jesus. We will have faith in your promise in the name of Jesus. We have faith in the scripture in the name of Jesus. We have faith in the Lord in the name of Jesus. We will not give up in the name of Jesus. We will not abandon your promise concerning our life in the name of Jesus. At the end of the day, we shall fulfill our destiny. We shall get up in the name of Jesus. We will achieve in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.